Welcome to the video on configuring the email account in Thunderbird. Mozilla Thunderbird is a free, open source, cross platform, desktop, email client that has large supporting community behind it. This video assumes that you have installed and configured a ConnectXF server version 3.4 and above to send and receive mail for your domain. It also assumes that you have downloaded and configured Thunderbird Desktop Client version 3.1.9 and above on your desktop to send and receive mail for your account. You can download Thunderbird from the site http colon double backslash www.mozillamessaging.com slash en dash us slash Thunderbird. After installation, click Mozilla Thunderbird icon on your desktop to have a look at Mozilla Thunderbird interface. The mini bar shows file, edit, view, go, message, tools, and help. On the left pane, select the local folders. The right pane displays a page on which you can edit accounts and configure advanced features. In Accounts section, select Create a new account. This opens the Mail Account Setup dialog box. In your name field, type your name, for example John. In Email Address field, type your email ID, for example, John at acncorp.co.in. In Password field, type your password and click Continue. Depending on the email ID, Thunderbird tries and automatically configures your account by looking for the incoming and outgoing servers. While doing this, Thunderbird displays a message looking up configuration. Thunderbird may find a server which can serve your request, or it may not find any server. If it finds a server, the related information is shown. When Thunderbird finishes, the process of automatically configuring your account, the edit button pops up. Click edit to change the server information. In username field, type your email ID, for example, john at acncorp.co.in. In incoming field, type IMAP or POP, server name or IP, for example, acncorp.co.in. Select POP or IMAP as the incoming protocol. This video shows the configuration of an IMAP account. The port number depends on the protocol selected and the server configuration. By default, use 110 for POP and 143 for IMAP. Select None as the encryption. In Outgoing field, type SMTP server name or IP. In our example, the IMAP server and the SMTP server are the same, acomcorp.co.in. The default SMTP port number is 25. The actual value depends on the server configuration. Select None as the encryption and click Manual Setup. This opens the Account Setting dialog box. Select Server Settings from the left pane. Confirm that the server name is same as the incoming server and the port number is same. For server settings on account settings dialog box, select outgoing server SMTP. On the right pane in outgoing server SMTP settings, click add. This opens the SMTP server dialog box. In description field, type name, for example, Acme Mail. In server name, type the URL or IP address of the outgoing server, such as acomcorp.co.in. The default port number is 25. Select the appropriate security and authentication, that is connection security, as none. In authentication method, select password transmitted insecurely. In username, type your email ID, for example, john at acncorp.co.in and click OK on outgoing server and account setting dialog boxes, respectively. After confirming information, Thunderbird 
configures your account. In case of IMAP, it starts syncing the folders from the server. Now, your account has been configured. To complete the IMAP configuration, we have to subscribe IMAP folders in Thunderbird. After configuring Thunderbird, you have to subscribe sent items, drafts, and other folders of IMAP from mail server. On subscription, Thunderbird syncs the selected folders from the mail server. After subscribing these folders, you can view and modify the contained of these folders. Let us have an overview on how to subscribe the folders. On the left pane of Thunderbird user interface, right click the inbox folder. Application displays a menu. Click subscribe. Subscribe window opens. Click the plus icon on the inbox to expand. Application displays list of all the available subfolders in inbox. Inbox folder shows subfolders like drafts, sent, sent items, trash, and spam. Check in boxes you wish to subscribe and click subscribe. You can click unsubscribe and select folders to unsubscribe. Also, you can click refresh to clear the list and start again. Click OK. Application populates all the selected folders and their contained in Thunderbird. Now you have same folders at your mail server and Thunderbird. So, this is how you configure your email account in Thunderbird. Thank you for watching this video.